Handle that ball. And that will do it. Humber Hawks winning this one. Now they're looking back on track, getting that record up to three and four. We, we knew we were going to win national. They've rattled off six straight wins, tied 11 game win streak for them. It's going to be 13 in a row here for the Humber Hawks. I seen everyone on the bench was really happy for us. They went 0 and 4 to start the year. They've stormed back in the second half of their season. And I had no doubt in my mind that we were going to win the championship. Just don't forget the Humber Hawks are hosting the 2020 CCAA Men's Basketball National Championships. I felt like we were going to win it all. I guess you could say I grew up in Vaughan, so grew up around Thornhill area. Uh, played basketball pretty much all my life. I started off at Humberwood Middle Junior Academy, down the street from here. Went to West Humber. Then I went to, uh, I got a full scholarship at North Dakota State. Then I transferred back home to Lampton College for two years, and I ended up at Humber. I was like one of those athletes where I loved playing every sport. It was one, like, playing sports for me was like an outlet for everything. If I could get my foot in the door to play any sport possible, even if I haven't played it before, I was that person. Now that I played on Humber and I played basketball for so long, uh, it, I've had different points in my life where coming to Humber, I didn't even really expect to play basketball. Growing up, I did see myself playing basketball in college. I just wasn't sure where. I had a little bit of doubt whether I could play just because I was a smaller kid in high school growing up, but then, my grade 12 year, my fifth year is getting the confidence from coaches or friends saying like, yo, you could play basketball after this. So the relationship I kind of built with my mom at the time uh, when I was growing up playing basketball, um, she loved Vince Carter. So the Toronto Raptors at the time was a very strong indication of like what she enjoyed to watch. And I love the energy that she brought when she watched those guys was uh, something that kind of just took me into it and dragged me into it. My rep coach. He pushed me through high school, even through the times I wanted to quit. I had, a, I had a rough time when I went to North Dakota State. Like I was, I was going through it, and I wanted to quit basketball as a whole. And like he just kept pushing me to continue. My mom was there at every home game at Humber. In mid, middle school, the same thing. High school, the same thing. My mom probably missed three home games in my entire life so far. Um, they started off rough, 0 and 4. Yeah, first semester, and then. They picked it up, and then second semester, I guess, were amazing after that. Like, I don't think we lost up until the finals. So when I walked in the gym, I just seen on the coach's face, like, yo, something's not right, you know? But the players didn't know yet. We're all coming to practice, and we're kind of excited because we see all our bags, that they our national bags, and our, our jackets. We see big boxes on the side. So we're like, oh, this is, this is great. Like, our gear is coming in for nationals. They had us, we had heard talks about a hotel, so we have the hotel set up, everything is gonna be nice. And obviously, you know, like, we're, we're, you guys, we like to play, it's, we're excited, we know Nashville's coming up. So everyone's in a, on a high right now. Everyone's still practicing, whatever. And they just came and told us, I think Ray walked in the gym. And when Ray walks in the gym, then you know something's serious. We walk in and we see Ray there. In an unfortunate turn of events, the 2019-2020 CCAA National Basketball Tournament has been canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. When I heard the season was canceled, um, it was met with some devastation and it wasn't really for me per se but for the guys you know the guys that are going to be graduating the guys that may not have another opportunity to play at a nationals and especially in front of our fans um, I remember me being a I guess a grade 12 student coming into this packed gym um, in the national final 
when we hosted it in 2001 versus Sheridan. And I sat up in the, you know, the top left-hand uh, bleachers and the, the energy and that, that memory, it will always stay with me. And I feel bad that our guys don't get that chance to, to, to really experience that. Right away, like I want to cry, but I'm not gonna cry because I'm an adult, I'm grown, I'm gonna cry for basketball. But it did hurt a lot. Really and truly, it kind of hurt because like that's the reason why I transferred, right? I wanted a better chance to make it to nationals, and of course we were hosting, so it, it, it kind of it was a it was kind of a blow to me, you know what I mean? Because I'd never been there before, so it kind of hurt me deep down for a little bit. My hopes after can the cancellation was probably just. Like, just try to not think about the negative side and just move on. And then, and we heard that possibly be hosting nationals next year because of the whole COVID things. So maybe that can be a positive side. Hopefully, if things get better. The overall bond is we we all like to be a team. We all like to be a family. We always we're always together. Always seeing the guys, they always, they always have like good positivity, good energy towards like on and off the court, and just seeing them in the hallways during school times and just practice. Like we had our moments where we fought a lot, but we all knew like after those moments, like we like hey buddy buddy, like we loved each other, like to the point where if one guy's gonna be late and we knew coach is gonna be mad. Like four or five guys would be late also because it's not him by himself. It was refreshing to be back in a situation where I'm learning. I'm learning. It was nice to be in a situation where people are giving me feedback, giving me information again. It was a real family environment. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of surprised because like the teams I've been on before was more of like individual, you know what I mean, type of people. So being at Humber was more of like a team vibe. Everyone cared for each other, you know what I mean? The change room was amazing too. Being in change room with those guys, hilarious. Like we'll finish practice at like, Eight, some of us won't leave until like 12 a.m. because we're just chilling with each other, you know what I mean? And I, I've never experienced that in all my years of playing basketball. I told the guys and told everyone, like when I made the announcement I was coming back, it's just like unfinished business. That's all I said. Not playing in championship game, not getting nationals, unfinished business. So I came in with a real chip on my shoulder. My plans now currently are just trying to put life together, um, try to stay in shape. Our season's paused, but again, we don't know what's gonna happen. Like they could come tomorrow. I'm like, hey, the season's going. I don't think anything would have changed. The guys would have been just as hungry, just as eager to get on the court. Probably even more eager, just because it got canceled the first time, and I would get to get it back. So I don't think anything would have changed with that. So I don't know if I want to come back yet. If I want to explore playing pro, I don't know. It's just, it's up in the air right now for me. I'm happy in the sense that I got to play a lot but um, it, not really, because like I said, it, it season feels unfinished. Because I can't even say what happened, there's just a lot of what ifs, and that's kind of, uh, that doesn't feel good. Thank you.